is your day. Every day is the day of the Lord, the day you get yourself prepared becomes your own day. Today I just want to share briefly on the topic I titled, They Can't See You. If you don't know that men are looking for you, know it today. If you don't know that women are looking for you, know it today. If you don't know that occult men and women are looking for you, people are looking for you. Especially this season of Christmas. This season of Christmas is a season that is hot. It's a dangerous season, it's a good season, it's a bad season. Everything goes. This is the season you hear about the ritual killing. This is the season you hear about ritual killing. They are selling people's parts just to make money for this season alone. Just one day, that's 25th. A lot of people are killing one another in order to make money. Many is a season of transaction. People are stealing, people are robbing one another just because of Christmas. But I come with a good news to you today. And that good news is that your enemy can't see you. This season, no matter what they do, because you belong to God, they can't see you. I want you to understand that the Bible says in the book of First King chapter 18, God said to Elijah, go and appear before Ahab. Because I want to send rain. On his arrival, the first person he met was Obadiah. He said to Obadiah, go and tell your master that Elijah is here. The man said to him, the man gave him a secret. He said, my master Ahab has been looking for you. There is no city, there is no town, he has not gone looking for you. And they knew where he comes and they said they didn't see you. He will make them take an oath that they didn't see you. Why, why was he looking for Elijah? He was looking for Elijah to destroy Elijah. That is how people are searching in the spirit to know how they can destroy you this season. But I pray for you, they can see you. Why didn't they get Elijah? Because God himself hid Elijah. I want you to understand that this season, I pray that God will hide you under his shadow. Hear me and hear me well. This is a season. You will study the Bible, you discover even when Jesus was born, Wise men trace his star. They told Herod too. And Herod was searching for him. The men came searching for him to offer gifts, to pay homage. But Herod was looking for him to kill him. It's not all that we visit you this season that are having you in mind. This is not a season you are going to show people that you have arrived. It's not a season to go and show your children. It's not a season to go and show your new car. It's not a season to go and tell them that I have arrived. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. So don't even bring yourself to where the enemy will make you an object of attack. This is the season. Even though God was with Elijah, Elijah went hiding, waiting for the day that God will tell him to come out. There is always a time to hold yourself. There is a time to talk and there is time to keep silent. It's not a time of show. Don't just carry your children to the village and show people that they can speak good English, that they can do this, they can do it. It is not the time at all. Don't set your children up for an attack. I remember someone telling us a story that a young man, one family traveled all the way from north to the eastern part of Nigeria. Anambra State, they traveled during Christmas, and when they finished, they left, they went back to the north, and their first son, who has been in university, started stealing, turned to armed robbery, left the school, they prayed and prayed and prayed and prayed, no way, and that thing happened exactly when there was Bakasi boys in Anambra State, and that boy left Medugri to Anambra State, and was there, joined bad gang until he was caught. On the day they want to kill him, the, the main man of the Bakasi boy said, no, they did this thing somewhere. They took the boy to their village in Anambra State, and they begin to make incantation. And the woman that projected that thing to that boy came out and was confessing. And they said, why did you do this? He said, they came back during Christmas. He saw that all of them were happy. He said, how can this family be happy without having one problem? Then I gave them one problem. That woman was killed in the place of the boy. And the moment they killed the woman, the boy screamed and said, what am I doing here? In other words, all the why he has been moving here and there, he doesn't know what he's doing. It is only the grace of God through the mother's prayer that sustained him. Why did he receive that an attack? Because they traveled for Christmas. A lot of people are waiting for you. Bad people are waiting for you. 
they are digging grave for people. They have mentioned people they want to kill, but you are not among. Anybody that digs a pit for you this season will fall into the pit. Anybody that is planning evil for you, for your children, for the downfall of your business, that person will not see the end of this year. I want to announce to you, they can see you. As I'm standing here as an oracle of God, I decree this hour divine preservation upon your life. Wherever they will go to look for you, they will not see you. As many that are conjuring to end your business, they can't see you. Hear me, hear me well. This year will not end you. You will end this year. I want you to understand that your business will end well this year. And you will start up again in a grand style. Hear me, hear me well. Anybody, the Bible says in the book of Proverbs 26, 27, that any man that digs a pit for us will fall into the pit. That is my prayer for your enemy. You, wherever they are looking, trying to see you, they can see you. In the morning, in the noon, in the night, any time, any day, any altar where they mention your name, may the thunder of God answer them. They are projecting accidents for people during this season so that even when you travel, you cannot come back to your base i heard a story a man built a house after building that house in kogi state they left on 22nd december they want to open the house on the 24th december three poles to their house they had an accident and the man the wife and the four children died they did not open the house again just because of christmas so this is a time you Hide yourself, hide what you have, hide your children, do the necessary things. Don't show. Nobody cares. Don't show anything. Those family were wasted just because of Christmas season. A lot of people are going to be wasted, but not you. So this season, be yourself. It is time. Don't just look at this. It's a time of celebration. You eat and eat and eat and eat and eat. It is time to pray. Don't ever travel without prayer. Don't ever remain in your place without praying. And don't ever enter the road without prayer. Even though God watches the going and coming of his people, he said we should pray. In other words, we have the power to stop the enemy. The enemy can't see you. I know they are looking for you. I know they are looking for those that are around you but they can't see you this christmas season as you travel i pray for you you shall go in peace you shall come back in peace your children shall go in peace they shall come back in peace your husband your wife everybody that pertains to you will go in peace accident will not take any of you no power will take any of you kidnappers will not see you bandits will never see you terrorists will never see you this season Anybody, whatever the name is projecting against you, I send it back to them. I announce to you, they can see you. The essence of this message is to tell you that if God is for you, nobody can be against you. The Bible says that the name of the Lord is a strong power, and as men that run unto it shall be saved. I announce to you that wherever you want to go, the Lord is in charge. As you watch this video, as you subscribe, as you like, the power of God will hit you wherever you are. And that is to say, you are preserved already. It is well with you and it is done. The enemy can't see you. They can't see you at all. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are preserved. You are blessed. May the hand of the Lord rest upon you in Jesus' name.